When you're building power for yourself, you must always look at the macro as well as the micro level of your situation. If building power for yourself was a war, the micro level would be the smaller scale tactics used in a battle, and the macro would be the grand war strategy. Both are important. The 48 laws of power will be addressing the smaller scale tactics involved. We first start with the first law, never outshine the master. Always make those above you feel comfortably superior. In your desire to please or impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite, inspire fear and insecurity. Make your masters appear more brilliant than they are and you will attain the heights of power. So you're in a new group or social environment. It is very important that you quickly determine the leader of the group. You befriend the leader, you befriend the group. Win over the bossiest girl in the group of girls and you win over the group. Win over the most dominant alpha in a group of guys and you win over the group. If you fail and the leader turns against you, it is better to move on. It is better to thrive than to be tolerated. When new people enter in a social group, the group will get defensive as to not shake up their already well established hierarchy of power. Be prepared to be tested. If you're more of an alpha than the current leader, do not outshine him or disrespect him. We will raid east again, to the Eastlands and into Russia. Every year. We go to the same places. But there is an alternative. They're my ships. I pay for them and they go where I tell them to go. Now that's the end of the matter. If you offend or disrespect the leader in any way, he will mobilize his troops and instruct to attack you. I can't be sure. But I believe it. I don't care what you believe. You insulted me out there. And not for the first time. But believe me, it will be the last. Charm the leader and find ways where you can benefit him. Having the leader on your side will enable you to quickly rise into the higher ranks of the group. The leader's words and opinion carries a lot of weight. Keep this in mind in any hierarchy, whether it be in your school or work environment. Use your energy to win over the people in positions of power rather than to attack them. This can be your teacher, manager or boss. Do not outshine people who, in whatever situation, possess a stronger position than you do. Swallow your ego. Your history of leadership or being an alpha doesn't mean anything in a new social environment. The classic example would be the classroom situation. The teacher will have an ego. If you constantly correct the teacher or call them out on the credibility of their knowledge, they will turn against you for undermining their leadership. Do not outshine the master. Do not correct them. It will win you no love or gratitude. In fact, it is one of the fastest ways to alienate yourself. If the teacher picks on you and bullies you for no reason, you must go on the offensive. Sow seeds of discontent among the students through whatever method. You can play dirty if you want to. When you are one of many that hates the teacher, you can start to attack their authority and the other students will gladly follow your example. The master is truly whoever holds the most sway with the crowd. A king without an army is defenseless. The crowd should always be your shield. When the teacher senses your popularity with the students, she will think twice of picking on you. If you wish to dethrone a leader of a social group, you must plant seeds of discontent among the followers. Each one of you can take one thing from this. One? Yes, and you still be richer than you were before. Why did you give everything away so easily? We wasted our time. I never should have believed in you. He was looking for an excuse to kill us. Brother, believe me. This is not the end. You must increasingly make the group more dependent on you rather than the main leader. You make the main leader irrelevant by slowly taking over his position, while at the same time appearing to be his asset and subordinate. Let us go there and find out. What do you have to lose? Any plunder we take will be yours to do with as you please. I could go there myself. Yes, you could, my lord. But why put yourself in danger? Why not leave it to someone who has more uh, experience of this journey? and someone who is more expendable. Very well. 
For example, if the group likes to party in the weekends and the leader usually gives them a lift to the party, offer that you can also help and lift some of the group members. Slowly make the followers more used to you taking on leadership positions while at the same time sowing discontent at the original leader. The leader serves the group and is chosen by the ability to serve. A confident and loud leader would be chosen in a school environment where the group lacks confidence and decisiveness. A strong combat experienced guy would be chosen as a leader in a dangerous environment. With their skills comes their power. That is why you must learn skills and find ways to serve the group to achieve the power of leadership. Find out why the leader has been chosen and find ways to make yourself a better leader. But be careful not to alarm the leader to see you as a threat, but rather as an ally. You must be self-aware of your own abilities. If you outshine the master too much, you must learn how to downplay or conceal it. If you cannot hide your great abilities, give the credit to the leader, saying it was because of their help or guidance. If you do not do this, the leader will become insecure and see you as a threat. So how do you recognize this law? And when should you apply this to your own life? Whenever you sense someone has a big ego and holds power over you in any way, it is best to use this law. You must also be aware that this law can be used against you and you should know when someone is trying to flatter and manipulate you, the more charming the more dangerous. Their flattery and submissive behavior is a Trojan horse. Be aware of their actions and patterns that reveal hostility. We're all players in a game. You're a player or you're a piece on the board. You move or you're moved. You play the game or the game plays you. You can't not play the game, so play to win.